So the main topic of our discussion for today will be building types and the components. Um, actually, most of our lectures we spent uh, uh, discussing about uh, accepting the types of uh, structures, how we need to accept it, uh, the type was of analysis of the main components and structures of the building and so on. So, um, of course, that's a really important thing because to know uh, the types of constructions, the methods of uh, the technicus of the construction is the basement for civil engineers. So to write, understand how we should apply um, that or other type of structure and uh, variance uh, of uh, building construction, it is the key to solve many problems in your future uh, career. Uh, which uh, I'm sure that uh, will uh, deal with the construction. So, <clears throat> and uh, uh, our discipline, um, building construction, is um, should help us to write understanding uh, the main constructions, the type of uh, buildings um, according to the methodics of the construction and so on. So, uh, if we're uh, talking about uh, types of the building, so there are several uh, types of the building according to the methods of the construction. So first, it is a solid or traditional construction. So, um, traditional construction means that uh, the type of construction which was used in the beginning of uh, the construction industry was the methods uh, which use uh, um, little bl bricks, blocks, uh, so the pieces uh, which was connected, which is other and created the uh, masonry constructions. So most of all solid the traditional construction is the masonry construction, which are uh, um, are built by using the blocks uh, bended, which is other connected, which is other with the motors, with the liquid uh, concrete mass, and uh, during connection, which is other, it's, uh, the construction is dried and uh, can carry out the really huge ways. And uh, all ancient buildings, which are standing still nowadays, they was constructed by using the solid uh, construction methods. <clears throat> Next type, it is structural frame, uh, steel frame. So um, if we'll compare a steel frame construction with the reinforcement concrete construction, so there are each of these uh, two methods have their own uh, features, uh, own benefits and disadvantages. Actually, this um, presentation um, wasn't uh, directly uh, driven to finding the benefits of each of the methods, but just to um, show the main uh, features of each of these methods. So, like a reinforced concrete construction, steel is an um, important. Uh, plays an important role in all construction uh, industry. You know that nowadays not uh, each of the modern buildings cannot be constructed without uh, using the steel. So steel uh, used uh, like itself so separately like uh, ready construction and the so like combination in the um, reinforced concrete uh, structures. So when there are a steel repairs which are included into the reinforced uh, concrete construction to increase its uh, ten um, potential capacity, increasing um, uh, better characteristics of uh, concrete and so on. So in combination, they show really good results. Next, it is a modular system construction. So, uh, modular uh, system construction is the 
opponent for the steel and the reinforcement concrete construction itself. Why? Because it nowadays became one of the most maybe quickly uh, grow, uh, grow type of construction because uh, uh, modular construction have uh, some more um, better characteristics, some more advantages which uh, give uh, to the system of modular construction opportunity says that nowadays it's really uh, progressive technology and uh, which are showing uh, really better results. What uh, is uh, really important thing nowadays. And the most of uh, today's building, um, which are constructed abroad, I can't say that most of our buildings, because there are really short lists, which can be called like this building was constructed by using modular uh, construction system. Now, um, for example, um, last uh, news from the China, according to the epidemic of uh, coronavirus, we know that uh, China, uh, China's uh, civil engineers constructed the hospital in 10 days. So we know it. And uh, the, only this constructional system, modular constructional system, uh, gives them opportunity uh, so quickly uh, with the higher productivity and with the higher quality of construction, finish uh, all uh, the constructional works, finish all um, um, finishing um, works in so short period. It's a really shortest, maybe one of the shortest period for the construction for so huge, according to the scale and volume of the building structure. So, and this uh, type of uh, constructional system gives such opportunity. If they was used, for example, traditional solid construction or reinforcement construction, they will never finish it because it, it, it will be impossible to finish it so quickly. Just only this type of constructional system give so uh, a really big speed for construction. And the last one it is lift slab construction. So uh, lift slab construction method is um, a popular type of uh, construction and we will see some of pictures and you will understand what does it mean. Um, it uh, has its own uh, specific and uh, difficulty um, and uh, sometimes it's not uh, often can be used but if it used it also can reduce constructional time. So, <clears throat> uh, solid construction. So, solid construction is, uh, I told you, uh, present um, us the history of the construction industry. Because all thing was started with a solid construction. When there wasn't um, so progressive technologies like uh, high um, quality steel products, so um, the concrete with the higher uh, density and so on, was used only solid constructions. So when there was all walls was bearing walls, um, which was support the uh, horizontal slabs, this walls was um, commonly made from the little pieces like concrete blocks, uh, separated bricks, burned bricks, ceramic bricks, um, other variants of um, brick production materials, um, and also from the natural materials like stone materials. So uh, when there wasn't technology to burn the bricks, uh, uh, the burned brick is uh, not so actually uh, early technology, but uh, in the in ancient time was used as stone for the uh, solid construction. Cast iron columns and uh, was uh, the first columns which was used from the iron. So iron uh, 
is uh, the one of the components which um, uh, so cast iron is one of the component which was uh, used for production of the steel in the future so timber beams um, in combination with the solid construction uh, also help uh, people to construct the horizontal constructions during construction most of all and so uh, the examples where i used it's a warehouses um, some uh, mills, factories, and uh, offices. So uh, this picture illustrates uh, the type of the building which was constructed by using the solid uh, construction. Solid construction. So we see the combination between bearing walls, uh, which are reduced the thickness at the floor. Uh, wooden beams, solid wooden floors, cast iron columns, so cast stone steps, uh, step cares, and so on. So actually it can be called like traditional uh, building which can be found, found anywhere like in our country and so we brought so they are still uh, very popular nowadays in uh, especially in the country, uh, countryside during the construction where the really deficit of the new type of materials and the um, short uh, number of uh, variants using the new technologies for the construction for that uh, places. Uh, this construction is, is became uh, and still popular still popular nowadays uh, structural steel structural steel uh, mm, we can uh, really uh, spend uh, most of our time speaking about steel constructions because uh, steel um, in my opinion is uh, one of the interesting material which uh, help um, to architects, to designers, to civil engineers realize their uh, dreams, realize their, um, uh, sometime on the first view unbelievable uh, projects, which uh, in the initial time can be considered like uh, impossible constructions, but when they start working with the steel, it became um, possible to realize their projects because steel has a really a huge number of the uh, positive characteristics which created like uh, um, one of the first type of material which can be used for difficult, uh, difficult form construction and usual form construction uh, and uh, not only but uh, in traditional methods of construction still also uh, one of the main components and uh, can nowadays cannot any type of the building cannot be constructed without using the steel you know it. so um, skeletal uh, framework often complex so it became complex because the um, um, volume compactional um, solutions, architectural solutions, are complex too. So, or maybe it's a firstly, so architectural solutions is complex. That's why uh, skeletal or frame uh, of the building is also became complex. Um, so uh, loads carried by beams. So the uh, static loads transmit uh, through the slabs to the beams actually carried by the beams. But the beams uh, itself transmitted to the vertical constructions, to the columns, we know it. So structure is covered by the cladding. Uh, important thing to understand why we need using the cladding to, to cover the steel structure because we need to guarantee the safety of the steel constructions according to the uh, fireproofing. 
So uh, fireproofing is uh, one of the first requirements which should be um, um, accepted maybe, which should be um, uh, ensured us that uh, we need to be actually sure that our building, our main frame constructions are uh, safety and uh, resistant to uh, fire. So the cladding can help us to reduce the dangerous that our building will be not safety during the uh, fire inside the building. So actually uh, during the open fire, what is the most important thing? So when we make the calculation according to accepting as the uh, methods of uh, uh, Depend, uh, defending the construction from the fire, we take into account the time of uh, resisting, um, time of resisting when the structure is resist to fire in open fire. So, and the time is um, the um, measure of the time is the t uh, hour. So how many hours can uh, resist uh, construction uh, from the open fire. So cladding, like other finishing, covering materials, can um, defend our construction from the fire. Uh, large use of glass, polycarbonate, and the plastic. Uh, we saw um, our last uh, lecture was spending to uh, saw the uh, short uh, video about uh, constructing the um, leaning structure, so leaning tower, you remember it. And so you saw that Zara was used only glass for facets uh, on that building. So what does it mean? It means when we use steel for uh, like um, enclosing construction, so which will uh, surround the building from each side like enclosing structure. Uh, in the uh, most of uh, time, there are, will be used the glass because it's uh, effective according to the uh, safe uh, of uh, construction of resources, according to the economical efficiency, um, and also due to uh, sh good results um, show it uh, of the glass materials for uh, energy saving. So it became energy efficiency to use glass, polycarbonate, plastic materials in comparison with the traditional solid construction um, in traditional uh, um, um, concrete constructions and so on. Because uh, nowadays it became not popular to use uh, concrete to use. Um, so uh, when I just uh, call not popular, I mean in the modern countries during the design of uh, uh, high-rise buildings, design unique buildings, and so on. So the architects and designs try not to use traditional materials to uh, cover the construction, to enclose the construction, and so on because they have uh, many disadvantages like heavy weight, like um, not so good conductivity, um, thermal, actually thermal conductivity, and that's why uh, they should uh, be a really, have a good uh, heating, um, insulating uh, for creating the good conditions inside the building. That's why it's a really big problem. So, and a headache for architects to solve this problem, how to protect building from the minus temperatures. In this way, um, uh, it really can help us double or triple glasses, uh, show, uh, sh um, which can cover it with uh, um, shadow materials. And uh, in the um, summertime, it will protect us from the um, sunrises and will not um, give opportunity to the sun uh, rises to penetrate inside the building and uh, 
heat in the internal part of the building. Polycarbonate, most of all, it is the uh, translucent material. So when we need to um, create something translucent, like translucent roof, translucent slabs, or other constructions like uh, vertical walls, for example, this material can help us. Um, it has a good uh, characteristics according to the uh, so uh, have a good density and uh, so the good density of the polycarbonate creates a good tension shows a good tension works and also compression works. So um, many buildings contracted with the structures, so, so there are no reason to call each of them. So we can say that. Any type of the building can be constructed by using steel. And the simple uh, plan, a simple uh, 3D picture will show us how can be used steel construction. So we see the vertical uh, stations or so columns. Uh, we see the main beams, which are located between main columns. We see the tie beams which uh, location in cross-sectional of the building. Uh, uh, tie beams actually directly supported by the columns, you see, but the dimension is some less than the dimension of the uh, all ends of the main column, main beams. Mm, there are secondary beams, which supported by the uh, main beams. Um, so there are main definitions. So dimension between two columns, two main beams, call it like floor span between main beams. And uh, roof span, so the topest uh, part of the building um, where will be located the roof or covering, call it like a roof span between main beams. So roof span and the floor span. So in general, they are equal to each other, but according to the location, so intermediate location will be called floor span, the topest location will be called like roof span. Reinforced concrete. So, uh, if we will start talking about concrete, we can say that concrete is a one of the popular constructional material for the, any type of construction like it was many years ago, still nowadays. Because sometimes only concrete can help us to create the such uh, rigidities, uh, durable uh, construction, which will withstand uh, um, through the time or loads, um, so through the time, I mean um, on time, on design time, so through the life cycle of the building and so on. So uh, the concrete uh, has uh, the uh, specific characteristics which give uh, uh, its opportunity to increase its bearing capacity through the time. So uh, what does it mean? It means that when we constructed our building from the concrete, uh, it will not show the most um, of uh, its uh, better characteristics like durability in the beginning. So through the time, after some years of uh, um, using uh, of exploitation building, it will increase the bearing capacity. And uh, sometimes, can be found the buildings uh, where the uh, life cycle of the building is over, but the quality of the concrete uh, of the concrete constructions is uh, sufficiently enough to continue using it again. So it's a, um, a really interesting point that building at uh, all cannot be used but the separately construction are ready to be used uh, again and again. So it shows how uh, concrete uh, help us to uh, increase the time of using for any construction. And also there are many, many other 
um, interesting features like uh, um, resistant to fire, so it's not afraid of the uh, fire inside the building because concrete itself is not fireable material. Um, but uh, also, like uh, all other constructions, concrete has uh, its own um, disadvantages. So, like advantages and so disadvantages. And first of them, it is um, uh, all heavy own weight of construction. Uh, next one, it um, it is uh, the time of construction, increasing time of construction, because by using, for example, uh, monolithic uh, concrete constructions, we increase time of construction because it is a wet method of construction. So in comparison with the steel, for example, steel uh, it is dry method of construction, which are not uh, require the uh, water processes inside the building and uh, as a um, Processes included into the wet construction. So, <clears throat> um, columns, beams, slabs integrally cast to form a monolithic structure. So, monolithic structure uh, require a wet methods. Wet method is require more time for construction, require addition uh, workmanship on the construction side because there are, can be found the uh, monolithic works, reinforcement works, form work works, uh, and there's so many other additional works which uh, should be accepted during the construction. So that's what we need to understand. Uh, in comparison, for example, with the prefabricated uh, concrete. So it's the other hand of the uh, concrete construction Prefabricated construction like a steel const steel frame uh, building constructions uh, help us to uh, save our um, resources for construction. First of all, for um, workmanship, so there are no reasons uh, used to huge brigades for the construction. So there are, should be only. Um, people included into the um, installation works, including into the fabrication works and so on, like in the steel frame. And the uh, other, it uh, saves time for construction because uh, there are no uh, reason to produce it on site. So all constructional types are uh, produced, uh, sometimes uh, gather it together, uh, outside on the special uh, plants, on the special fabrics, on the um, uh, <clears throat> uh, just outside of, of the site of construction. And uh, um, what else? Um, so two common methods of construction. Uh, so just I, uh, I start uh, talking about the two methods of construction. So it is precast reinforced concrete frame. So all um, components produced uh, on the factory. Um, one of the difficult part it is transporting transporting system. So logistic system. Uh, it should be taken into account the type how you will transport all constructions to the construction site. So why I told that it's a one of the difficult uh, part because sometimes construction site can be located so far from the factory which are produce the frame of components. And uh, if it uh, located so uh, some far from the construction site, um, should be done the economical calculation. So is it effectively to use precast construction for the uh, this building or maybe it will be easier and uh, sometimes quickly and cheaper to use monolithic construction so uh, it's an open question which should be done actually before uh, the project of uh, the building will be made so we need to um, uh, 
first of all in the initial uh, stage of the design of the project when there are only um, some um, decisions are can be applied for the construction so at that period should be applied method uh, method of the construction so in what frame will be made the building if in a long concrete frame so what type of the concrete precast uh, prefabricated construction or it will be done by using monolithic construction uh, composite construction composite construction um, interesting uh, definition like marriage between steel and the precast concrete columns so uh, most of uh, industrial buildings nowadays are um, was constructed by using this method when there was used the concrete columns and the, for example uh, steel frames so uh, like we see in the picture um, the combination between um, or marriage between steel and columns every time showed good results so when uh, for example we use vertical uh, rigid constructions show good results for the uh, compression and in the same time we use in the top as part the lightweight steel materials like the frames uh, which show good on the uh, torsion on the bending uh, on the buckling and the so on so um, important thing to know all the features of uh, each of the material and uh, when can be used this or another type of material in what this place um, in what place it is important task during design all of construction and uh, um, just a simple concrete frame where there are no uh, combinations between steel and the concrete there are just only uh, concrete uh, constructions concrete slabs walls columns and the so on modular structures so uh, modular structures most of uh, modular constructions are prefabricated components which are produced out uh, uh, on the special factories in the fabrics so the main features uh, that uh, modular structures are uh, have a higher design flexibility so to construct the building structure from the modular structures should be designed special connectors so each of the building requires the special connectors for itself um, so in case in concrete to provide a degree of fire and corrosion protection so uh, like in all other constructions um, if the modular structures are made from the steel it should be uh, have, uh, it should uh, have sufficiently enough protection from the corrosion because corrosion and the fire can um, quickly uh, destroy the